Now let's take a look at some of the latest headlines in the COVID-19 outbreak. United Health Group President Andrew Witte is planning to take a leave of absence. He's going to help lead the World Healthy Organization's new initiative for COVID-19 vaccine development. We have some good news for Sun Country and the airline industry as it will split $25 billion in economic relief. As part of the deal, Sun Country committed to four weekly flights to Orlando, for Myers, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. The airline says it will schedule more flights if there is a demand. Delta Airlines will receive more than $5 billion in emergency relief. That's expected that the 10 airlines in the agreement would pay back 30% of the federal money that they receive. Additionally, MSP International received $125 million from the CARES Act to cover operational costs and debt expenses. Researchers at the University of Minnesota desperately need volunteers in an effort to find a cure, a vaccine, or a treatment for COVID-19. Medical school conducting three trials on three different drugs. One of them, hydroxychloroquine, which might prevent infection. Researchers looking for volunteers who are exposed to COVID-19 patients, so like healthcare workers. Second trial involves Lozartan, which is a blood pressure medicine. Volunteers in that study must have tested positive, but did not require to be in the hospital. So the trial would see if that drug treats the symptoms. And there's some clinical data out of Wuhan, uh, China, to say that people who are on this class of drug may have actually done a little bit better. That's retrospective. It doesn't prove the point. We have to do the clinical trial. If you've tested positive for COVID-19 or have been exposed to infected people and would like to learn more about these trials, just look up the story at WCCO.com. If you're looking to do a little more reading while we are at home, many libraries are now offering curbside pickup of books. The libraries are about access, access to materials and information. And w when we had to close due to COVID-19, we had to figure out ways to continue to deliver that access. So to choose a book, you can either go online, call the library, or send them an email. They'll let you know when your selection is ready. Then you choose a pickup time and a drive-by to get it. Your books will be on a table outside of the library. You can go to WCCO.com to see if your library is offering curbside pickup.